Hey guys, Queso Man Rules here. Today's tutorial is on how to create a VNC server on your computer and then be able to access it from anywhere that has Wi-Fi access. Okay, step one in this is to download a program called Tight VNC. This program is available from download.com. I'll have this link in the description. Just all you have to do is click download now. And it won't take too long. Download is a very small file. It's a pretty light VNC server, that's kind of its point. So this will just download. It's an installer. And you just have to install it on your system. It's standard install, nothing special. And once you've done that, you see, you just execute the program and it'll you can install it. Once that's installed, you will get this right here. This is the tight VNC server. You can open up the settings, and one thing you really want to do is set a password. You might as well set a very complex and difficult password to guess because you're going to need to. Because if you don't, later after you set everything up, if someone guesses your password, your computer could be hacked. So that is a risk, but if you have a very good password, something very random, I would suggest just make sure you write it down somewhere. That'll work good. Um, this stuff mostly you leave the same. Make sure um, display, you probably want to desktop and leave those things alone just make sure you set your password um, you can enable tra uh, file transfers and remove the desktop wallpaper if you want a higher frame rate and yeah so uh, set up those settings after you're done with that next thing you're going to want to do now that you have the VNC server if you want you can open up the VNC viewer let's see I would have to go in through my C drive VNC viewer right here, and you connect to the IP address that you want to connect to, and hit connect. Make sure you have, um, it'll probably ask you for a password. This one's probably not going to work because the VNC isn't set up on that computer that I'm trying to connect to. So you can connect on localhost now that, that way. That means you can only connect to it if you're in your own wireless network. Next thing we're going to do is enable it so you can get it anywhere you have Wi-Fi access. To do this, you need to download a program called DYNS, let's see, DYNS Updater. DYN DNS Updater. Yeah. Um, this is available from this right here. That'll be in the description. And just click download. Uh, get the with setup version and get the latest version, not the beta. Just click download there. And I've actually already downloaded this one. Once you get this, it'll be a zip file, extract it, and you will get three files like these right here. Next thing you have to do is install this as well, and yeah. Once that is installed, make sure you um, enter the into the right information, stuff like that. Into the right information, when it asks for your IP, click um, detect IP address. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward and go through the install, then it will start up like this. It'll originally be green and then turn red. Red means that it's connected to the internet. Green means it's only on localhost, but it'll immediately turn red. Um, that That is the IP right there and right here. Yeah. Um, now that means that it's on the internet, but there is one more thing you have to do. To be able to actually access it now that it's on the internet, you have to set it up so the ports forward correctly. So what you have to do is get your router IP address, not the external IP address, your local IP address. Um, each router has its own. I have a Linksys router, and its default is 192.168.1.1. Google your router name, like what brand it is, and the default IP. It'll come up. Type that into the address bar and make sure you know the password. If you haven't configured it, it'll be like admin admin or something like that. If you have, then you should know the password. Once you're in there, click on Applications and Gaming or something similar than that. It might say Port Forwarding. Click on that. You will come to a screen like this where you can uh, forward ports. Okay, what you're going to want to do, type in like a name, something called like VNC. Now this is important. It'll probably ask you for two numbers, and these are going to be your ports, start and end. For this one, type in 5,900, and the same for the other one. Both need to be 5,900. 
but as for the protocol, set it at both. Now this part, IP address, is very important. You need to know what your IP address is for your computer. So that means when you try to connect to the router, it'll immediately forward the connection to your computer. So you need to know your IP address. Mine is point is 192.168.1.104. The last three numbers are going to be special to your computer over any other computers in your wireless network. So once you've got all that information, set that up, make sure it's enabled, and click Save Settings. And you will get a message shortly. See, settings are successful. Now what you can do is access your computer from anywhere on the internet or from anywhere with Wi-Fi access. One of the cool things that I like to do is connect to it from my iPod Touch. There is a free VNC program called Mocha Touch uh, VNC available from the App Store. And it's there's a free version and a paid for version. Um, I have the paid version. It has a couple more features because I use it a lot. The free version works great. Um, just get that and make sure you plug in all the information to ask for. All you're going to need is this um, external IP address right here. This one that it says right here on the DOIN DNS updater where it says IP. Plug that into the IP address. Make sure you know the password that you entered for type VNC and type that in there. Once again, make sure to write this down and make it complex. You, I don't want your computer getting hacked. And that's it. Now you can go down to the coffee shop and leave your computer on and access it from your iPod Touch or another computer as long as these two services are running. Okay, guys, this has been a tutorial by Case Man Rules. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, add me as a friend, comment this video, and rate, and other such things. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.